like your video now. <laughs> Salutations, it is I, Gwen, with a video that has been in the making for a long time. A long, long time. About a year and a half ago, I came across an invitation from the Westland Museum, which invited people to make their very own bevrijdingsrok. <laughs> you gotta love those rolling R's. Bevrijdingsrok. 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 Anyway. Bevrijdingsrok <laughs> means liberation skirt, if you translate it literally. What is a liberation skirt? Well, after World War II was finished, people were called upon to make a skirt to celebrate this momentous occasion. The idea was that you take a whole bunch of scraps, because, you know, with the shortages during the war, nobody was expected to have, like, lots of fabric at hand to just whip up a skirt with. So the idea was to make it out of scraps. The common denominator though was that it had to have rectangles along the hem of the skirt. Every time something really momentous happened, you would embroider something on one of those triangles so that the liberation skirt would be like sort of a scrapbook of all the momentous stuff that had happened. And when I say momentous, I mean momentous in a positive way, like, you know. Uh. So the competition called upon people to make a skirt along a similar formula. I did that, sort of, kind of, and then time went by. A lot of time. Anyway, here's how I made mine. There was still tea in here. I quickly came to realize that while making a skirt entirely out of scraps is a very cool concept, it is also very time consuming. And with there being a deadline, I was unsure whether I could complete it in time. I therefore opted to make a panel skirt instead. I divided my waist measurement plus a little extra for ease in six and used that as a starting point to draw a trapezoid panel and cut out six of those. In my enthusiasm to get started, I fear I've made a rather stupid mistake. One that is making itself known right now. As you can see, it's very pointy. Of course, I forgot to draw in the curve at the bottom. Very, very stupid. But it's something that we can still fix. Because, let me see. There should, by the way, also be a little curve at the top, but I feel the top is so small that it's not gonna really make that much of a difference. You can correct me in the comments if I am wrong. Please do. I love to learn. But we'll measure the middle of the panel, which is 63 and a half centimeters, and the sides are 66 centimeters. So that's quite a difference. That's uh, 63 and a half minus, that's two and a half centimeters difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the side of the panel two and a half centimeters up and then I'm going to sketch out, roughly sketch out the line where the way it should go ish And then I'll just see what happens. This is a bit of an experiment, but yeah.
I think that's looking a lot better. Now to puzzle out the appliques, app appliques. Now to puzzle out the decorations. This is what I landed on. It's loosely based on the dresses from Frozen. Because <laughs> I really love those. Only I uh, used a sort of more Dutch motif with a tulip. I, was, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do here because the panel turned out to be quite wide and you have to line the bottom edge with triangles uh, but that's going to be a huge triangle it's, it's going to take up almost half the skirt I'm not sure if I want that but if I use two triangles per skirt panel which is probably going to be a bit tricky to figure out because I've now rounded out the bottom of the skirt Maybe I should have waited before I did that because if I'd sewn on the triangles first it would have been a lot easier. Oh well, I'm sure I'll figure it out somehow. But coming back to the whole motif, I think it's not gonna look bad if I do two triangles here because then this base of the tulip will nestle between the two pyramids. I like that idea. I think I'm gonna go with it. like it. It needs to be tidied up. The heart shape is alright, but the tulip and the definitely the leaves need to be tidied up. But I think this could work. So I am nearly done basting everything on. I have four more pieces left. I really hope that I can get it done today. I mean, at least the, the pieces and the closure and the waistband. Because tomorrow is May 5th, which is the day that you're supposed to actually wear this. done well I say done I mean all the pieces have been sewn on the leaves the tulips the hearts the little dots uh, now it's time for the triangles I've decided to go for the triangles first not the waistband and the closure I will add that later if I if I still have time I will add that later because um, it's not a proper liberation skirt without the triangles uh, I have two and I need 12 so first I gotta make 10 more of these If somebody broke your ironing board, you have to be creative. So I put down a blanket. Don't want to point any fingers as to who broke the ironing board, but it was definitely my husband. It's looking good. I really like how the triangles pull it all together, somehow. They were actually... oh, this one's slightly off. 
It needs to be a little bit more this way. Anyway, the triangles were actually my least favorite bit of the whole concept of the liberation skirt, but I really like how these are turning out. Yes, I got it done! The bottom part's a bit... I mean, the hem is a bit, is a bit choppy still, but um, I'll fix that. First, it's time for the zipper and the waistband. Yes. made a mistake. Uh, for an invisible zipper you're not supposed to baste this all the way through, as I have done. But at this point I'm just gonna cut my losses and proceed anyway and just have it not be an invisible zipper I guess, because time is of the essence. Done is better than perfect. So I got a mail from the museum. The special event that they had planned is not gonna happen because of the coronavirus measures and they can't organize a meeting, a gathering. But they have thought of something else. If you so choose, you can send in the skirt and they will put it on exhibition and you'll get a special stamp that you can sew onto the skirt and then they'll judge all the skirts and select a top three. I'm currently in the process of embroidering and then on this triangle the I need to embroider the, the date, the 5th of May 1945 and then the idea is that uh, you embroider the dates... Oh dear! Oh. Okay, so I need to fix this. Anywho, the idea is that you embroider other special dates on this on these triangles and that way it's sort of like a becomes a sort of photo album like it becomes a very special piece of clothing with <laughs> so i have some stuff to do yet before i uh, before it's ready to send because the the edges of the the fabric even though i did put interfacing on the back is fraying like crazy and i need to take measures to stop that because it's not pretty and I am doing part of that by hand but I don't think I am going to be able to do all of it by hand before sending it out it's just too much work and I have too little time so I will probably get it done by machine one of these days so yeah hopefully I'll get it done in time to send it out it needs to be there by I think it was the 5th of June it's today is the 28th is it the 28th though? Yes, it is the 28th of May. So I need to get a move on. Wish me luck. We're on the home stretch. All I have to do is finish this embroidery and then I can pack it up and drop it off at the post office. I really have mixed feelings about this rushing of things. On the one hand, it's good to just have a little deadline and get things finished. On the other hand, I noticed that it's spoiling the enjoyment of the process for me. I enjoy it better if I can just take my own time, put it away when I feel fed up with it, and then take it back up again. And there's really none of that right now. It's just sort of stress and pressure to get this done on time. Because today is, if I have it correctly, the 31st of... No, it's the 30th of May. Okay. That gives me maybe a little bit more breathing space, but the mail services around here have not been their usual reliable self lately. So I am not taking any chances and I think the earlier I get this shipped out to the museum, the better. Therefore, I really want to finish it today and drop it off at the post office today. But 
It is already three o'clock and the post office closes at five. And then there is the question of has the mailman been around yet to pick up all the packages? Otherwise, it's kind of pointless to finish this now and I might as well do it some other day. But oh well, I'm just I'm just gonna assume that I will, if I get to the post office before five, then it will still be picked up and that will give it a much better shot of arriving before or on the 5th of June. So... It is done. It's just that <laughs> the embroidery... Uh, what's it called? <laughs> the tissue paper which you use for the uh, embroidery, usually it just comes off in the wash, but of course I have no time to wash this, so I'm sort of trying to get it off. So now I have a big wet spot on the skirt. I hope it will dry very quickly because I have to pack it in act now, actually. I have to pack it in now and get it to the post office. So I'm just gonna lay it out in the sun whilst I get my packing stuff and then hope for the best. So in the time it took me to write a little bit about the skirt, because that is necessary, the skirt has dried quite nicely. So now let's pack it in and send it on its journey. Okay, I managed to get it to the post office on time and yes, yes, the postman hadn't been yet and so it's going to get picked up today and now I have every confidence, knock on wood, knock on car in my case, I have every confidence that it will be there on time, hopefully. And I wanted to treat myself to something because all's well ends well, but there's lines everywhere. So I guess I'll just go home and make myself a cup of tea. Make your video now! Wait, when you say you want to be alone for a second, in kids' language, no! that's... No, no, you can't do it! Hey, follow me you around can't do it. No, everywhere. No, 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 she's making a video! Me. She's making a video! That's my test. It's my baby. It's a baby of us. She's the devil, baby. <laughs> the devil, baby. Ah, I'm okay. Ah. I think we all know who the real devil, baby, is here. <laughs> I'm normal now. You can make your video. <laughs> You're normal now. The devil, baby, finally get away. Tis true. The devil, baby, left. Yes. All right. So now we're making. Mama's video! Do you know what's in here? Uh, no. I don't know. It's the skirt that Mommy made, like a year ago. Mm, the yeah. black one with all the tulips yeah, 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 yeah. on it. You yeah, remember? I, uh, I remember now. Maybe I remember. The museum sent it back. This I've been saving this for months. To do oh, a sort of that live. one! Yeah! I I know that one! Yes, you do, don't you? Ah, there it is again! It's been... it's literally been sitting on my, my uh, closet for months. It's in great shape! Ha! It even had a number! Wow! That's perfect! Isn't it? It's perfect! And let's see what they have enclosed. Huh. What's in it? It's an invitation to visit the museum, because we didn't... I didn't get round to visiting the skirt when it was on display, which... Really oh, perfect! Nice one! Anyway, uh, they said they were going to enclose a stamp, a, a special stamp, because they were, it was in... Oh no! I'm late for school! I must go to school! A special stamp that I could, but I guess... I forgot I'm free! I'm free! And I'm going to stop ah! right now. Mom. Upon closer inspection, the stamp is right here. Oh my god. Wow. It's just a, I didn't know it's right here. 
I over here. Didn't know either because for some reason I didn't get a chance to calmly look over my skirt. Isn't that weird? Yes, it is real, real weird. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and would like to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell icon so you'll be notified every time a new video drops. Bye for now! Alright, you can go. You can do it now.